number one and two. If you ain't learned already, I ain't giving you shit. It's like I fought to earn this life. I'm gonna keep it. I'm not giving it away to nobody. Ain't nobody gonna take this. I'm gonna that all over mine. I'm gonna protect this bottom line at all cost. I've earned it. I'm gonna protect it. I'm gonna protect it as hard as I've earned it. That goes for all my homies. Anybody I ever marry again, if you think I'm about to just give it to you. After I worked this hard to get it, you definitely got me confused. You definitely got the wrong one. I'm drinking my apple juice over my private chef dinner, lunch, breakfast. Be jealous all you want. Ain't nobody gave me shit. I earned this life. I'ma live it till the wheels fall off and not feel bad about it at all. I am about 7,000 flights into this life and lifestyle that I live. How about you? What you doing? Oh, okay, I got it. Think that because you sing, <laughs> you gonna make it. Singing with no hustle, zero results. Okay, you think because you got thick legs, thick thighs, you gonna be able to hustle your way into life. You can go get pregnant by somebody rich and famous. Milked out in the 18 years, but some ass ain't gonna get you through life. Don't set you up nicely. Don't get some attention out of it. You ain't got no mind to hold hands with that body. It's gonna fade. You're gonna be the hottest chick on the block. It's gonna be another hot chick on the block. Then another hot chick on the block. The revolving door. You're gonna get ran through like all the rest of them. But you're gonna have to show for it in the end. I earned this life. I ain't gonna never let nobody make me feel bad about the life I live. Yes, boss. Back in here, man. Let's get to it, man. Tyrese. On the topic, man. So Tyrese made headlines for this video that I just played for you. In a previous excerpt, he basically said, Yo, I'm willing to kill and die for what's mine whatever I work hard for. And if you're a person who's worked hard for anything in life, you flat out have to understand and respect that because you wouldn't want anybody coming and taking anything that you put blood, sweat, and tears in and all they had to do was just finesse or try and swindle or get a couple lawyers involved, that type of stuff. So basically, he's in a situation where child support has gotten to him. Now, before we even go into that, if you watch me, there's a lot of things that I preach on here. I say a lot of things, but one of the main things I preach is about working hard, being self-sufficient, being self-sufficient and working hard and knowing what you want and going for what you want in a right way. It prevents you having to be shysty, prevents you having to uh, plot on people, be a swindler, those types of things. You get what I'm saying? Because if you haven't realized, the leeches are growing out here by the day. There's a lot of people who don't want to work. A lot of people looking for, where's my next lick going to come from? Where's my next meal going to come from? Who can I catch slipping? Who can I rub my hands like Birdman for? You get what I'm saying? And he's one of the people that basically took a major L. So Tyrese is facing his child support issues. You've seen him vent on the uh, on the internet before when he went viral for crying. They turned the man into a meme. They put him into all type of video segments whenever they want to get a crying a crying scene going on. Like, let me tell you something. This man has been emasculated in a whole lot of ways. And not only that, you have to look at it like this, right? This is my whole my whole reason for doing this video, right? If you're a person who's worked hard in life, it doesn't matter whether you work hard for a car, you work hard for a, an apartment, you work hard on your business. Never, ever, ever let somebody come and just take that away from you. I understand that the laws are weird. Everything is crazy. But fight for what's yours. Fight for what you put time and work and hard effort into. You get what I'm saying? Because as I stated before, there are people in the world who are looking for a come up and looking to take from the next person. Now, you have to understand this as well. Living in America, this is, uh, I'm not saying all women do this, bro. There's a lot of women that play the child support game. They play the uh, divorce, we're married, now we're divorcing. So now they choose to play the alimony game. And if you don't know about these, I'm going to teach you this if you're young, dog. Once you're put on child support, I may not know the whole ins and outs of it because they change the laws. Child support normally ends whenever the child turns 18 years old. But I don't know if it's like a rule that they change where if the child decides to go to college, it's continued or what. But there's certain rules or certain games 
that some women like to play in order to get men's money. Plot on you, figure you out. You know what? You're weak. You need some sex. Yes, yeah, some love. Let me go ahead and I'm going to throw it on you. And if you nut in me, guess what? A child comes from this. I can go ahead and put you on child support. There are numerous of people I know that are on child support and child support is kicking the hell out of them. And if you didn't notice as well, failure to pay child support results in being placed or thrown in jail. You get what I'm saying? It's a dirty game. Now go a little bit further, switch off of child support. Being married, this is why I said I kind of question marriage as well. Prenup or not, right? A prenup is a written agreement basically that keeps you secure saying, yo, what's mine is mine, what's yours is yours. You sign this agreement, you're saying that you're going to leave me with what's mine. Cool. However, there are some people who do not like to sign prenuptial agreements because they believe, yo, what's mine is mine and what's yours is mine and all of that there. There are some people who get married just for the benefits. You get what I'm saying? So if we're ever to be, to be divorced or anything of that matter, the woman would get alimony. Yo, I was living a certain lifestyle. I got accustomed to the lifestyle. Now I need you to continue paying for my lifestyle. They have laws with this stuff now where they're starting to end alimony after a certain amount of time. There's a lot of games that are being put uh, to a halt now. You get what I'm saying? Because it's breaking a lot of people and it's turning over power to women. And they're starting to see in America that there are a lot of men that are checking out from these little games that are being played. To the point where they don't care about working. You want to put me on child support? Hey, I'll go quit my big time job and I'll go get a job at like McDonald's or something. See how much money you'll get then up out of me. These are games that some people do play. And if you're young, you need to understand this, bro. You have to be careful who it is that you mess with. Be careful who it is that you give your time to like that because there are some people who are plotters, some people who are pocket watchers. There are some people who know about you and your situation. Now, slow it down and back it up. Everybody knows Tyrese is an actor and he's been in a lot of famous movies. So it's not hard to tell you you've gotten some money off of your movies. Stick a pin for two seconds. I just gave you free game. Because Tyrese is famous. People know he has money. You get what I'm saying? That's all in the realms of entertainment. Whether being an actor or an actress. Being in the sports world. Being an artist. Whatever the case may be. Once you're in that limelight, people know you're what? You're famous. You have money. So you have to be careful on the types of games that you play. Be careful of who it is that you are here sticking your uh your magic stick in because there are some people that play these games. You get what I'm saying? Move a little bit further. From him suffering from all of this, this is something he's going to have to deal with until that child turns 18. And as I stated, the youngest child was born when? 2018. That was six years ago. Now, as he goes older in life and he's working all of his money goes out to child support. He's going to be there stuck to sit down and think about these things. And that's why he said what he said in his video. There are certain people they haven't worked hard in life. There are certain women who feel like, yo, my body is going to get them to the next level. He gave you free game. Just because you're pretty doesn't mean that there isn't going to be another pretty girl that's going to come along. I.e. the same thing I preached in that last video about Faith Evans. Use your youth correctly. Do not use it to plot on people and see how many baby daddies you collect and how many child support checks you can collect. There are women who do this stuff, bro, and it's infamous. I forgot the, all of the football players' names, but there's one of them. Um, I believe his name is Trayvon Diggs. He's the Dal uh, cornerback for the Dallas Cowboys. Him along with two other football players or one other football player and a rapper all share the same baby mother. And she has all of them on child support. I'm telling you this for a reason. When you have money, when you're touching it, 
There are people who can smell that, bro. There are people who watch these things. That's why as a man, you need to play broke. It's not cool to be out here flexing money and flexing this, that, and the third like you have it. Because that's going to attract a lot of things that you do not need. And as well as that, if you do choose to get married, make sure you're well aware, you're well aware of who it is that you're dealing with. You've put in time with them. You know them in and out. You know their family. You know how they were raised. Those type of things. Do not fall in love with women because, yo, this girl got a nice body or she got a, a wonderful smile. Guess what? There are famous songs out here that teaches you game about women who cater to their looks and they invest into their looks because they're using and banking on their looks to get them something in life. Either get them a rich guy, get them somebody who will take care of them financially, get them a sucker who's going to be able to save them. These are things you have to learn. And he's out here spreading this as awareness that, yo, he's suffering from certain things that he's done, certain things he's went through. I work hard for my money. I, this is a message to all of my friends. My money is my money. There are people who go through these things. They have friends who who aren't really their friends, they plot on them for their money and their things and play like they're their friends. You get what I'm saying? These are things that you have to learn and understand. Next side of the game, to young women, if you didn't see the Faith Evans video that I just dropped, take it as a learning lesson. He just said this, eventually all of those looks are going to fade. The money is going to go. You have to understand that in your young years, Use your years correctly, bro. Do not use them to try and plot on dudes and get their money and finesse them. Because I'm saying all of this in layman terms. Because he put it out there beforehand. He said, I'm willing to die and kill over what I work hard for. I.e., hint, hint. There are a lot of women out here who are dying from trying to live a head first lifestyle. Let me plot on this dude. Let me set this dude up. Let me get his money. Let me play up underneath him and play the longevity game. Now I got you. I got you now how I wanted you. Guess what? I can run my game. I'm telling you this because I've seen this happen multiple of times. It's out here in the headline news all day long, every day. This is not nothing new, bro. Women who try to plot on somebody and end up getting a gun turned on them or getting kidnapped and then they find their body somewhere else. There are some dudes who they, they all they have is what they work hard for and they'll be damned if they let somebody come and take it away from them. Sure enough, there are people who make foolish choices in life, but at the same time, do not be out here trying to take advantage of somebody or plot on somebody for their stuff, bro. Be a stand-up person and play a fair hand in life. Life may not be fair, but as long as you play a fair hand and you work hard for what you want, I'm pretty sure that you'll land where you need to be. Just do things the right way. You get what I'm saying? With that being said, remember this. Words can help you. They can hurt you. But here on my channel, I use them to uplift you because everybody's a champion. Nobody's a loser. It's your boy 444 The World, man. Peace.